abandon our family. I promise you, I do not want to die. Ultimately up to you to decide if you want to delay the birth. Thank you for saying that. Because I have thought about it. And if Dr. Randolph says it's too risky to delay the transplant, we can bring our daughter into the world a little early. Thank God. I love you. I love you too. Got a shirt. <clears throat> See you today, shirt. Oh, bitty kitty, mini. Yes, Alice. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's GH review. Say hi. Say hi. All right. Hello. All right, so today's review. GH, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Today was dry. Very, very dry. We had a little bit of Easter eggs in it. But um, it's pretty much dry. Let's talk about Nina and Sunny. First of all, Sunny got the nerve to sit up there and be so, I don't know. Like, sir, y'all just did the same damn thing. Nina held her information. This guy. Sorry, y'all. What a pussy. Yeah, couldn't get him. Um, Nina withheld the whole year, sir, that you was alive. Watched your whole family go through grieving and everything. She pretty much did the same. Same thing Carly did. So it, both of y'all was wrong. I was just hoping that Carly was going to like do a step up and be, you know, show show growth. That um, once she had found out that Nina and Willow was mom and daughter, I thought maybe she would show growth. And like, this is what you're supposed to do when you find out something like this that could tear your whole family apart. But no, she didn't. She went the other route. So anyway... Um, Nina is back at her apartment. She's on the phone with the hospital, y'all. She's trying to rush those people to get results to see if she is a match. Um, so, you know, she's having a mini meltdown on the phone, and here comes Sonny walking in again. I guess you got your own key. It's, it's a match. He comes walking in, and as soon as she sees him, she calms down. She gets off the phone, and she's just rambling about how much she has, you know, I have a daughter now and all that good jazz and um she hates me okay yes just remember that part nina remember that part she hates you okay maybe y'all could work it out down the line but just remember she hates you just go do your part donate the bone marrow and that's you know hope 
bygones will be bygones later on down the line, but that's about it. Um, we got to see Anna and Valentine today, and I haven't seen these two in so long that they look so refreshing good on the camera, y'all. They look so cute. And the Easter egg out of that scene was, hey, we found Lucy. They on the trail, guys, so we should be seeing Lucy very soon. Now we get to Esme. I really don't think she got a memory. She playing this too long. And, you know, normally when Esme is up to something, when she gets a moment to herself by herself, she got the smirk, let us know that, you know, everything's going on to the plan. She's not giving the smirk at all, guys. And um, I don't think she playing. I don't think she's playing. But anyway, the guard is, how, you know what, matter of fact, how is Esme ever always sweet talk? a guard or a cop she got the guard to give her two minutes with victory like after he done said three times i can't allow this but then she asked for two minutes and you're like okay okay that's your job though though that's your job anyway so the cop the guard gives them two minutes victor is over there trying to you know talk to Esme to see if maybe she remember anything. She doesn't. He introduces himself as an uncle and he tells her that he's the Cassidine and the baby is an heir so he's there to check on the baby and her and just to see if she's okay and blah blah blah. So the Easter egg out of this scene guys for me is I think we found Victor's weak spot. For some odd reason he's interested in that baby and um Martin tried to pick up on that. Martin tried to blackmail Victor, y'all. Nice try, Martin, but I don't think it's going to work. Martin pretty much was letting Victor know, like, as long as I got this case and my mind is on my poor Lucy, I don't know if anything's going to end up right. So he let that out. Victor is looking at him like, I don't know what you're talking about, and I ain't budging. And he was like, okay, you know, but just to let you know, anything could happen, I guess. That's how it Martin played it. So, okay. Victor is, gets a little paranoid. Makes a call. He knows to stamp up with his guards. Because um, he can't find um, Anna or Valentine. So, Victor is no dummy, y'all. He got his hand in every cookie jar there is of Port Charles. But he's no dummy. So, we got to play this smart. And I hope they, they take him there on good all right, so we got to Crazy Heather, and she sneaks in Ryan's room with, you know, her homemade keys. And as soon as she turns her back, Ryan didn't give her no clue second. He was right behind her, scared her a little bit. Woo, got me there. <laughs> you're a little fast, old man, you're a little fast. Um, but Ryan is a little, you know, paranoid about Esme. He wants her free. He, he's wondering why Heather's taking so long. Heather is like, you know, the... The guard that was helping me out got arrested because he was still in. Go figure. <laughs> um, so she needs uh, another out. But then she turns around and says, well, I could be, I could leave anytime I want. So I'm going to get out of here. Ryan the whole time is only worried about getting Esme free so he could get away with Esme and Ava. Once again, you're still stuck on Ava, sir. Why? I don't know why, but you are. So, Heather, you know, let them know. I don't give a damn about no Ava. I'm going to get my daughter. She don't even know my name. I never even spoke to her. You had all the time in the world. First of all, Ryan is no. He got no heart, y'all. <laughs> he was standing. He was, she was saying all the speech, and Ryan was like, uh, no, you haven't. She was like, I've been waiting all my life to get in touch with my daughter. He was like, no, you haven't. <laughs> She was like, I'm going to do what I can do. And he was like, uh, okay, if that's your plan. Like, he was just sarcasm all the way. And um, her plan is to escape that night. So, once again, everything's going to be popping at the same time. So, she plans on escaping that night with her homemade key and just hooking Jocelyn. So, that's the Easter egg there. Jocelyn, uh, watch out. Heather is breaking out tonight. She asked Ryan to come with. He's like, that's not a good plan, and he needs a better plan, blah, blah, blah. She was like, listen, old man, we'll, we'll see you. She said, I'll do the heavy work like I always do. We'll see you later. We'll send you a postcard. 
<laughs> and she left Ryan's room. He was so mad. Um, so yeah, her plan is to escape that night and go find Jocelyn Hooker for once and for all, and then that will be proof that Esme is not the killer. So I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't even remember where uh where uh Jocelyn was or or at. I hope she with Dex because that seems to be her Superman. He better pump 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 it up. Um and um what was the other Easter egg? Okay, Victor, new baby, Heather, uh, oh well, Lucy is found. I can't wait for her to return. That's great. Um, pretty much the next episode is going to be, uh, you know, uh, Carly getting her raft, you know, whatever type of raft y'all want to call it. But, um, also this one, uh, Sasha went into the room with Willow to talk to her to see if she was going to refuse this match. And Willow, thank God, said no, but she was talking dumb. Like, she was trying to hold on for long. Listen, the baby's going to be fine. Bring the down going baby girl. Let's get over with this down going story. Thank you. Anyway, that's about it. And um, <laughs> why are you in the bucket, sir? That's about it for today's review. Um, the rest we talk about in chat. Y'all seen in the beginning. Y'all know what's coming. Bye. This good night is cozy up in there. He's not coming out for nothing. Hey. That's good. Aww. Love. Loving. Mm -hmm. See you guys later. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thanks, Spence. Yes, we doing. Mm hmm Sneaking in the net, babe. Yeah. Gotcha. Caught. Whoop.